Uh, welcome back. Summer, as we all know, is definitely in full swing, and we know with this heat wave coming, it has arrived. And we've not had much rain lately, so your plants may be feeling the heat too and looking a little wimpy. I should say. AJ Petiti joins us live in our Fox 8 garden right here at the studios this morning with an update on what we can do as far as keeping them hydrated and the best for that. Also, he's got some great tips for helping to stop the deer from using our gardens and our flowers as a salad bar. <laughs> Hi, AJ. It's great to see you. Good morning, Steph. How are you? So it is a beautiful morning and it's been a great year for the garden. I cannot believe how well everything is performing. You know, things are getting a little unruly and we were actually talking about it this morning of, you know, looking at how far we space things out when we went to plant and it looked a little stark. And you could see how things are filling out. So you really wanna make sure when you go to plant the garden, you have a lot of space. But the tomatoes, the zucchini, the cucumber, I mean, everything's performing really, really well. We harvested a bunch of eggplant this morning, a bunch of bays, we're gonna make a ton of pesto. Zoom's really happy. Um, so things are, things are looking really good. So one thing that you want to keep an eye out, two things actually. So with tomatoes, you want to make sure that you fer start fertilizing with tomato tone right about now. So one, the plants could use a, a little bit of a kick of fertilizer. And two, tomato tone has calcium and magnesium. And so that'll help stop blossom end rot. So this is something that, you know, there's a little circle that'll come at the bottom of tomatoes. You want to stop that now. So if you're starting to see it already on some of your green tomatoes, either hit it with tomato tone or there's a, a spray called rot stop you can go ahead and spray with that and then other than that just kind of keep an eye on insects throughout the garden so um, hit it with captain jacks if you see white fly if you see um, you know you're walking through and you see a bunch of bugs come up just spray the garden with captain jacks that'll stop those insects from really infesting because once it gets too far um, it's really difficult to get the garden back and then you mentioned watering so actually scott and i were talking over the weekend you want to make sure that you're watering, especially with this heat, you want to make sure you're watering every day. So hopefully you have soaker hoses set up. Um, if not, this is a great way, a really easy way to make sure your garden's getting watered. But you want to make sure you're watering every day, especially with the heat that's coming up. AJ, so, would you say watering every day for the garden and also your flowers? Um, I've been kind of doing it every day, every other day or every two to three days. Is that not enough? especially with your containers yeah. in the ground it depends on how established they are um but even with the heat i try to get them every day every other day at the most okay um you know but within your containers you want to make sure you're watering those every single day now okay. you know especially as we get in these really long stretches of 90 degree weather you know that that moisture just evaporates and gets sucked up by the plants so quickly so you want to make sure that you're you're doing that and you're looking at that um and then looking at deer resistant plants so this is a great time to plant perennials um, if you are planting now you want to make sure that you're watering in really really well so you want to make sure that either you've got a sprinkler system or you're diligent about watering but just some great plants that are really deer resistant so this is one of my favorites so this is lantana um, it's an annual it's wane proof um, so the deer <laughs> in his yard that you know reside there permanently um, this is one thing i wayne i prom if they eat this i I, I got no hope for you. So um, this is another one, it's uh, viburnum. And this one, it blooms earlier in spring, but it's got a beautiful blush colored flower and it's really fragrant. It smells just wonderful. So it's just a wonderful, it's called the Korean Spice Viburnum. Just absolutely spectacular. Um, Echinacea is another great one. So this is something that'll bloom all summer. It's a great long bloomer. Um, one of the things that you'll notice, and it's you can probably hear it a little bit, you know, with deer resistant plants, they either have a strong fragrance or they've got, this one has like a rough, like prickly leaf, mm. um, or there's a, a real hard texture with the leaf. So you want to take a look at, you know, plants that have those kinds of leaves or like this is lavender and it smells just absolutely wonderful, but it's something that deer do not like. So, you know, as they go to smell that lavender, they'll stay away from that. Um, this is another great one. It's a yarrow. This is a native to Ohio. It blooms from early spring to late fall. And they mm. come in a beautiful array of colors, yellows, pinks, oranges. Um, but this is something deer will stay away from. Again, this one has a little bit of a fuzziness to the leaf that we've got in and there. And that but one was called what? See what was that last one, AJ? It's called yarrow. Okay. And so there's so many different varieties that you can plant. You know, it, it, in today's deer world, nothing's 100% bulletproof. But these will offer you the strongest uh, 
you know, chances against the deer. Sure, and if all else fails, like I love hostas and I have them all over, but I make sure I sprinkle that stuff every uh, every few weeks to make sure they don't come out there and eat them and the roses and lilies and all of that stuff that they love. AJ, all great advice. Yeah, those are like the top, those are the top, those are their favorite foods. I know, so. right? <laughs> That's why they're all in my house. Yeah. I'm like Snow White. I, re I plant all the stuff that they love. <laughs> Yeah. Appreciate your time. Well, we are going to water, water, water. Mother Nature will hopefully do that for us tomorrow with some rain coming in. We're going to check back in with Scott uh, about that. But enjoy your time. Tell your family we said hi. It's great to see you. Thanks, Steph. Thanks, AJ.